Here, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Alan Zing, back at it again with another Call of Duty video. Now, as promised in my previous class setup video, I was going to do a rushing class setup for the most OP and meta gun in the game, the MP5. But without further ado, if you guys want to stay updated to all the best and latest Call of Duty videos, when it comes to tips and tricks, zombies, and multiplayer, and also campaign, guys, this is the channel to be on, so smack that subscribe button, because it's going to help me out tremendously. Going on to this class setup now this is a running gun type of class if you guys are a running gun type of person when it comes to call of duty this is a class for you guys okay guys so for the muzzle i do have the sound suppressor which gives me a pro of 100 percent muzzle flash concealment it takes out 15 percent of the effective damage range but that's okay now the reason why i have the sound suppressor other than any other suppressor in this muzzle class right now is because it is one of the best i like having suppressors when i'm running and gunning because i don't want people to know where i'm at at any point in time when I'm going for those insane feeds and when I'm going on those insane kill streaks. Now moving on to the barrel, I tried all of these barrels out, but I found that the 9.1 rifled was the best one because it gives me 25% effective damage range. While it does take out 5% of the sprinting move speed, it is one of the best barrels you guys could use on the MP5 as of right now. Now being a running gun type of class, I have to have the steady aim laser. Now if you guys don't know, the steady aim laser gives you guys a 15% hip fire accuracy. So when I'm running and gunning, of course, when I'm running down the hall and an uh, enemy just comes out of nowhere and I don't have time to aim down sights, the steady aim laser helps me see where exactly I'm shooting at. If it's the chest, head, or feet getting that insane and clean kill. So in my previous MP5 class, I said that the Red Cell Laser foregrip was the best foregrip and the best underbarrel for this MP5, and it is still hands down the best underbarrel you guys could use. I unlocked all of the underbarrels. I maxed out this MP5 class, and this is still the foregrip that I'm still running with. While it gives me plus five sprinting move speed and gives me 30% of the melee quickness, it does take out 3% for the movement speed, shooting move speed, and the aim down walking speed. So no running gun class is the same without fast mags. Now Salvo 40 round fast mag is honestly the best that I've used in this game so far. I was using the 40 round drum, but it took me way too long to reload the clip. Now I tested all of these handles out guys, but hands down the airborne elastic wrap is one of the best. It gives me 30% aim down sight speed and 90% flinch resistance, meaning that this gun isn't gonna have recoil at all guys. When you're shooting people from close range, long range, it is gonna have no recoil whatsoever. While it does have some pros, it does have some cons by taking out 10% of the shooting move speed and taking out 15% of the sprints of fire time. Moving on to the last attachment in this MP5 rushing class setup is gonna be the stock. The Raider stock is hands down the best stock. This stock gives you guys 30% sprint to fire time and then 10 percent aim down movement speed while it does take out 30 of the hip fire accuracy when i'm going and when i'm seeing three or four people and i have to aim down sight and they're trying to shoot at me the aim down sight movement speed helps me tremendously when it comes to the stock so i could dodge and weave those bullets so i could get that that nice two or three piece giving me that uav or giving me that insane insane feed that i post on these class setter videos for you guys so moving on to the perks guys i am running tack mask for the perk one now the reason why i'm running tack mask other than flak jacket is because i'm running gunning guys when i and i don't know how many times i get hit by stun and flash grenades while i'm running and gunning trying to get those insane feeds so i have to counter it by using tack mask now this is hands down other than flag jacket is the second best perk one that you guys can use because we all know how meta and how annoying stun grenades are in this game once you guys get stunned you guys are basically just put your controllers down because you guys are going to die no matter what so for perk two in my previous class set of video i said i was going to try out tracker now tracker is honestly insane when it comes to running gunning i want to see exactly where the enemies are moving to exactly what rooms they go into so i could get that insane feed okay guys so for perk three is the same as any other class that i run ninja guys ninja hands down is the best perk three other than ghost and cold blooded it silenced your footsteps and hearing footsteps in this game is a necessity and it also helps you guys with the field mics when people are camping ninja counters that guys ninja is going to give you guys that silent movements that you guys are going to need to counter those players moving on to tactical and lethal grenades i am running the stun and semtex of course and then my field upgrade is the one and the only field mic field mic is hands down the best field upgrade that you guys could get because it's always like a uav at all times okay guys so this is actually where i'm going to end off this video if you enjoyed smack that like button subscribe if you haven't already if you guys thought this video was information at any point in time show you the boys some support and join the wall from nation by subscribing let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and let me know how's you guys black ops cold war experience since the game did release it's me boy and i'll catch you guys in my next call of duty video we out here peace